In this particular video, I am going to accomplish two things. I am going to provide a simple and easy project to complete on a Saturday to go along with the simple Saturday that I am promoting on my Facebook group, Two World Clubs Mixed Media. And I follow Carrie Gibson Art, and I like to do her prompts, although I'm not very good at posting what I've done. This is her week 14, and in week 14, she asks you to use red, purple, a line from a movie, the stuff that dreams are made of, a plant or a flower, and the tool is a jelly press. So I have created this simple, easy paper bag clutch that we will be doing today with the <clears throat> red and purple colors. We'll get that movie quote in there, the stuff that dreams are made of, and of course, we shall incorporate the use of the jelly press in the video. So my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I appreciate those of you that subscribe. And if you haven't, please hit that button and come and join me. And the notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. So for today's project, we're going to use a simple paper bag. The first thing I'm going to do is just kind of flatten that out, get all of the creases out of it, and kind of fold it into that little clutch-like form. So it is flat. We have the, the creases out. And now we're just going to take the art glitter glue and glue that bottom down to the sides of the bag. So that, that kind of sturdies up that little fold over for us. And you can see that just kind of folds over and makes the top of the little purse-like uh, structure. So now we're going to utilize the first color that Carrie asked for, which is purple. And I'm putting it on my gel press. I'm using a high flow golden transparent paint in, in the purple color. And I will just get the color laid down on this bag. I'm not any rhyme or reason. I'm using my gray or I'm using the gel press. I'm, I'm just laying down color and getting it transferred over to the paper bag. I do like the way this transparent purple allows some of that bleed through of the, the craft bag color. And I think it's, it's a very unique and interesting look. So we have the outside of that clutch, if you will, colored with the purple. So let's flip it over and add some color to the inside. Now we're going to add some red to the inside as well. So we'll start with the purple and get some purple down. And as soon as I have some, some coverage there, we'll move over to that color red and add a little red on the inside. So when you open up the clutch, you get that, that shock of that red. And add a tiny bit to the outside, I think, but for the most part, we'll keep it on the inside. And it use my heat tool here. It's just a craft heat tool. And I want to just kind of get that dry so I can continue to work with it. Some additional red. There, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I want to lay down a dendronic print on the outside of this, and I will link the video on how to do this up above. That was my Technique Tuesday this week with the dendritic printing. And ultimately, you are just putting together two sheets of glass. What I use are two pieces of glass out of picture frames that I picked up at a, at a thrift store or dollar store. I am daubing down the white ink putting the two pieces of glass together, pressing those two pieces of glass together, lifting straight up to create that veining in the paint, and then transferring that paint to, to the substrate, which in this case is a paper bag. And I am just, again, randomly putting these down. So in Carrie's prompt, she always says, with the color, you can use and add black and white. So I am taking advantage of that and adding my little white dendritic print onto 
my purple and red paper bag clutch. Now the flower. And I have this stencil flower that's pretty big. So I thought I would take the center of that flower and lay it down on one of these dendritic prints and kind of ink out the outline with black ink around that dendritic print. So I am just laying this flower stencil down and inking with black ink. And we'll do that throughout. And once I get all of the stenciling done, I will take that same ink and I'm using just a jet black and I will go around the outside edges of the paper bag, all, all of the folds and the outside edges, just to add that little bit of detail. There. So now we have that all inked up. We have our dendritic print on the outside. And I am just going to add a little bit more inking on the inside. I want to bring that black in. I put that black stencil down in the corner and I'm just taking that ink and, and darkening up or shadowing the edge. So that completes well, it doesn't complete it, but we have it we have it all inked and we have it all painted. And now I think I would like to have something that um, you know kind of gives you the opportunity to journal with us or just to create a use for this little little paper bag clutch. We have the little pocket and um, now let's add some some paper. And I've just chosen some white lined paper. I have trimmed it down to size and we will put it inside the book with just a simple binding. So I'm marking off my center and my two end spots where I want to punch my hole and I'm just bringing in my pokey tool or all and punching the hole through. This is, you know, very thin paper, very, the paper bag is very easy to poke through, so I didn't see any need to pull out the the hole punch or the crocodile. I'm just poking through. I'm going to clamp this off to uh, keep it in place, and I am going to bind with embroidery floss. I'm pulling out um, three times the width and the length of the embroidery floss, threading it up putting it through the center hole first from the inside out. <clears throat> I will bring it back through one of the top holes or the top or bottom hole from the back. Back down through the center hole to the inside, outside in. And I will come from the outside in on the final hole and then tie it off in the center. And I'm just going to tie that off with a with a little square knot, and then I'll trim the trim the thread. So that binds that <clears throat> into the book very easily. And now I've decided I'd like just some interest peeking out of that pocket. So I've pulled out some scrapbooking paper, and I'm trimming that down to the width and depth of that pocket and we'll just kind of place that inside that pocket and and glue it down so so you can see it fits right inside that pocket and now i'm just going to open that up and put my art glitter glue on that glue that in 
And now you have that very nice little print peeking through the ink up the outside edge to make sure we have that done well. And now let's work on a closure. So I'm going to continue with the same scrapbooking paper, create a, a little uh, medallion, if you will, or a little <clears throat> rounded off rectangle. And I'm using this to glue down the sorry silk that I'm going to use to close this with. So we'll place that right there on the, on the um, foldover. And I'm pulling in some ivory sorry silk, marking the center. I'm going to lay some ink down and open up that sorry silk and just glue it down right there. Now I'm going to place some glue on top of that silk and glue our little medallion that we cut out, or our little rectangular piece that we cut out, right on top of that. So that will hold that ribbon in place. And now you have that outside complete. Now the stark whiteness of the pages kind of bothered me a little bit, so I'm just pulling out the colors again, the purple and the red, and just randomly adding some color to each of those pages throughout this book. And there we go. This actually has served three purposes for me. I have it for Simple Saturday in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I'm following Carrie's prompts to create this, and I also am in a paper bag clutch trade so or swap so i will be sending this off for my swap so thank you so much for joining me i appreciate it very much i hope you will take a moment to subscribe i have linked a couple of other videos here i think you would enjoy if you liked watching the paper bag clutch so again my whole game on this venue is quick and easy videos please like share and comment thank you so much and bye for now